All right, welcome to this video. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make a quiz and randomize terms and definitions in the quiz so that you can have a different version of a quiz for each period that walks in throughout the day. So if you have seven periods that you're teaching in the day, you can have a different version for each period. So they all get something different. This is also useful for students who are studying. Let's say that you're studying a bunch of terms and you don't want the order of the terms to be the same. You want to shuffle them up when you quiz yourself. Well, this is a great way to do it. Okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to have a list of terms and definitions. And so I have my medical term here on the left and I have my medical definition on the right. And uh, I have the terms bolded here and the definitions are just here in regular text. Okay? And the first thing I want to do is I want to define a number here for my quiz. So I want to type in number one here. I've made this column, column A. I've made it a little bit more narrow. So I have one here and two here. If I highlight these two cells like this, I go to the bottom right like this, click and hold, and you're going to see these numbers start to increase. Okay, And they're going to go all the way down to 25. This is a 25 question quiz right here. Okay. Uh, next thing I want to do is I might want to make a grid for these. So I want to highlight all of these here and click the home tab up here and we, what we want to do is we want to just create a border like all borders around that okay and I want to go here and click all borders around that and if you want to get fancy you could even you could even fill this in so I can make this fill let's say I wanted to make it blue fill like this I can make it blue and then I can make my text you know white let's just say okay so now it looks a little more fancy right I've got term and definition up here right may want to Bold that, make it a little bigger. Let's make it like 14. All right, so now I've got terms, definitions, looking pretty good, right? But I want to randomize the order of that. So here's what we got to do. So I want you to come over here to uh, this cell D1, and I want you to type, uh, ran just type random, the word random, okay? Just like that, just the word random. It's a header. Okay, so then I want you to go here, and I want you to type equals R-A-N-D, open parentheses, close parentheses, and I want you to hit enter like this. You're going to see that this created a random number here, okay? And this random number is going to be between 0 and 1, okay? And all of these cells are going to pick up different random numbers. You notice how this goes on for a long way here? There's a lot of significant digits here. That means that no two of these numbers are going to be the same. So that's a good thing. So I'm going to come over here, highlight, click, hold, like this. I'm going to drag it down. Now notice this made a bunch of different random numbers. Well, why should we care about that? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to sort this list by these random numbers. Now, I want you to pay attention here because the term is going to match the definition no matter how I sort it here. So if I go here, I want you to look at this term here, here A. A or AN means no, not, or without. I mean, think about the term anaerobic, meaning without oxygen, right? So that's what, that's what that is here. These two terms should be the same after I sort it, okay? So just pay attention to those two terms. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to highlight all of these columns, but not the one that has the numbers here. Okay. Then I'm going to go to Data, and I'm going to go to Sort. Okay. Click Sort, and I'm going to come over here to Random. I'm going to sort these by the random number generator, and it doesn't matter if it's smallest to largest. Just click OK. Once you do that, notice over here these terms are going to randomly switch. You see how they all switch just now? Now I want to prove to you that the terms are still with the definitions. Okay. Okay. So now that we've sorted these these values here, they're they're completely different each time I sort them. Okay. So you see here that A is completely in a different place than AN now. You see this down here. So A is not or no not without or here, and AN is here no not without down here. So that's what we wanted to achieve, right? Now this version of the quiz would be equivalent to a teacher's key, right? Because we have the terms and the definitions. Okay. So next thing we need to do is go to a Microsoft Word document and create a blank template. So I have a Microsoft Word template here, and what I've done in the header, I click up here in the header, the header appears on all pages. I typed in my name, medical terminology quiz number one, and this is going to be the key. Okay? And the student, you know, on all of, all of them that you would put the student's name, the date, and the period. Just standard operating procedure here. There's nothing really fancy going on. Okay, so now I'm back here on my actual uh, sorted list here, and I'm going to click here and highlight all of these, okay? And I'm going to copy, and then I'm going to paste them into Microsoft Word. So now I'm in Microsoft Word, and I'm going to right-click, and I'm just going to paste in that quiz here. So now I have the quiz here that is the key. That's the key that the teacher would see. Okay, that's not what the student would see necessarily. Okay, so it's a totally different thing to see 
the key from the actual quiz because the key is obviously going to show you the values here, right? So if you wanted to, you know, save this as the key, you could. And then to make the actual quiz for the students, you would delete the key right there and you would just go in here into the terms here and you would highlight them all and you would basically go up to the color here and you would make the color white. When you make the color white, all the definitions disappear. Okay, so now you have the version of the quiz that the students will see, right? So you've now went from the key to the student version, right? So this is a very quick way to sort your quiz, make a quick quiz, make a quick key, and then everybody gets something just a little bit different. All right, that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.